Uh, hey Josh, it's um, good to be here with you. I'm glad you could join me for this interview. Um, so first question, you know, I, I know we've kind of had our rivalries and whatnot, but, you know, congratulations on finally taking it home. Um, I really, yeah, I, I really do feel good that you got it. So I guess what I want to ask you is, how does it feel from your perspective to finally get first place in Toronto, you know, kind of your hometown. This is your third top there. How does it feel to finally bring it home? You know Bobby Barone is the champ. Well, I mean, not literally, of course. You're the champ. But um, I, I see what you're getting at. You know, you clearly wouldn't have gotten where you were today without your friends. Um, so tell me, what um, what, what's special about Bobby Barone exactly? Bobby Barone's a stud muffin. Okay, fair enough. I mean, not everyone can be a stud muffin, right? But um, more specifically, uh, what role did he play in helping you become a master duelist, so to speak? He's the one who taught me everything that I need to know about being awesome, like Bobby Barone. Um, <clears throat> uh, sure. Yeah. Fair enough, I guess. But, um, let's, let's move on to something different. So, uh, I love Bobby Barone. He is my best friend in the whole world. And Bobby Barone is fucking Bobby Barone, you know? Josh, let's stay focused here. So, do you have, um, any advice for, um, potential master duelists that will be traveling to future YCSs? You'd be a moron if you're not fucking playing windups. Well, uh, that's reasonable advice, I suppose. I mean, I gotta admit, it is a, uh, you know, probably the best testing strategy to. You know, first thing you should test should be whatever won the last event. So, you know, windups will certainly be positioned as the deck to beat. Um, would you say the deck has uh, any bad or questionable matchups? Fucking Dark World, man! <laughs> Alright, uh, true story. Um, so along the lines of that, I guess, would you say that, you know, given the expected changes in the new meta, that it might be better to just play Dark World, right? If it's the deck that beats Windup. You would be a moron if you're not fucking playing Windups. Sure, I get it. But, I mean, in my opinion, you know, there's kind of an issue where it's very easy after you win an event with a certain deck to sort of become locked in on that deck and just think it's the best forever. I mean, even I did that with gadgets back in, you know, the... 07, 08 era, I played them far longer than I should have just because, you know, I, I did way better with them than I expected, so I never saw a reason to change deck. But I'm sure you can agree that, you know, between now and come next YCS, there could certainly be a scenario where windups are no longer the optimal choice, correct? You would be a moron if you're not fucking playing windups. Alright, whatever. You're, um,. You're entitled to your own opinions, I guess, and I mean, I'm sure that your deck choice had a lot to do with the reason that you ended up taking Stone first place, but I'm sure some of the plays that you made had to do with it also. Would you like to talk about, you know, any cool moments that happened that, you know, someone might not have expected you to do? I, I nearly, like, just, I almost <laughs> cracked under the pressure. <laughs> Alright, um... There, there's no shame in admitting your personal flaws for sure, but um, why don't you talk about your top two match, for example? You, despite the fact that you were the person who actually took first place, a lot of people were more impressed with the unique deck that Jeff Jones was playing. What did you think about his deck? You would be a moron if you're not fucking playing windups. Come on, I mean, never mind. You know, it. It looks like um. We're running out of time here, so I think I've only got uh, one question left for you. Um, before we go, would you do you have any closing comments that you would like to tell your fans, for example? Bobby Barone's a stud muffin, and so is his girlfriend. I don't even know her name, but you know what? She's pretty ballin' too, because if she's good enough for Bobby, she's good enough for anyone. Bobby Barone is fucking Bobby Barone, you know? I love Bobby Barone. He is my best friend in the whole world. Because Bobby Barone is fucking Bobby Barone, you know? And he is fucking awesome. Because he is Bobby fucking Barone, you know? You would be a moron if you're not fucking playing windups. Peace, YouTube. Peace. Alright, well, 
with that being over with, hopefully you guys can um, now see why Josh Graham is such a treasured member of our community. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. I, I know I certainly enjoyed doing the interview, to, to some extent at least, but um, I'll try to get some more content later, so thanks for watching.